Oh, hey, look, NASCAR's on. But that doesn't matter because what does matter is what I have in my screen right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you may be saying, well, hey, that's kind of unexpected. Well, I am the... I am the fool of tricks. Oh, okay, that didn't make sense. But what does make sense is that I'm doing a top 10 um, paint schemes to come out to Extreme Racing, which is Bounty Hunter, Scarlet Bandit, Iron Outlaw, uh, etc. But this list will be mostly focusing on the big three, as I like to call it. So, um, no more jokes. Um, as I said, this will not be um, all Bounty Hunter paint schemes. There will be a few Scarlet Bandit and Iron Outlaw paint schemes, but it'll be mostly focused on those three. So without further ado, let's -a go. Number ten. What a better way to start off a list with the very first bounty hunter in 1995. This is a this is a Ford Hemi, I think, or a Chevy or Dodge. Sorry, I don't know my um, manufacturers that well, but what I do know is that this is the first bounty hunter. Now, I wish they would have done a flashback of it, but I could see why they didn't, because there's, uh, uh, of course, as you see on the door, that is Yosemite Sam of the Looney Tunes, just like, um, Spin Master, um, did not put the actual, um, skull on the truck, because it, it was too close to the Punisher's skull, so that's why they had to alter it and made it look smiley, um, which is kind of justifiable. But I still do like this body, um, and I don't see what's wrong with it. Number nine. At number nine, we have the transparent bounty hunter that he was supposed to run at World Finals 14. Um, if you don't know, this is a, um, a picture from qualifying, I think it was, or practice, one of the other ones. Sadly, he did not compete in freestyle because, um... Of electrical issues because he broke down in round number two. Man, Jimmy Crean has the worst luck ever. I mean, that is that is just ludicrously sad. Number eight. All right, our first non-bounty hunter body is the 2005, I believe, Scarlet Bandit. Um, it was only ran this year because Don Crean took the year off in 2006. And when she came back in 2007, she had a different body. But overall, I just like this one. I like the purplish-pinkish on it. Uh, so, yeah. Number seven. Another World Finals body. This time it's from World Finals 15. Uh, technically, Jimmy Creighton has had... Um, World Finals paint schemes since 2012, I think. Um, anyway, I just like the decal on the back. And that's it. Here's a better look at the uh, back, by the way. Number six. All right, here's a bit of a throwback to my era of Monster Jam. Um, number six is the uh, 2007 to 2016 Scarlet Bandit. Uh, the reason I placed this above the other one is just because this brings back a lot of nostalgia for me, and I really do like it. Um, and it... Um, after 2008, um, the, the pink kind of became an obnoxious pink, um, so that's why I just like the older one better. Number five. Before we get to number five, this slot here is dedicated to Nick Owens, who tragically died in a skiing accident in 2011. Rest in peace, brother. Alright, this is uh, Nick Owens' paint scheme. Well, not really his, but this is the Iron Outlaw that ran between 2006 to probably 2011, probably, or 2012. I don't know. Um, again, this is another nostalgic truck. Um, I remember when Craig Christensen drove it. Don Creed drove it very briefly. Um, I wasn't in a Monster Jam when Lindsey Wink was driving it, but he dominated. And... Uh, yeah, I just ran out of things to say. I just, I just really like the red and black on it. I like it way better than the current one. I wish he would do a throwback to this one. Number four. At number four, we have the 3M Bounty Hunter, which was canceled, but it was supposed to run. You may not remember it, but um, in 2009, I think, or 2010, he was supposed to run um, a Bounty Hunter with 3M on it, and 
and other 3M products. Unfortunately, that one was canceled. And that's a, that's such a shame because I really do like the red, white, and blue on it. I kind of like the continuity there. Uh, so, yeah. Number three. And number three, we have a bit of a shocker. It's the 2017 Scarlet Bandit. Why did I put Scarlet Bandit number three, you may ask? Well, I just really like this body. I don't know. It's just I like I just like black way more than pink. And I like the woman's stance, I guess, and she's not, like, too overly sexualized. Sorry about that, but I'm just glad, um, they just didn't, uh, never mind. I'm, I'll just get demonetized if I just keep rambling on here, so let's just move on. Well, I changed my mind. I decided I am going to ramble, and I like the outlining on the whip, I guess. Um, I like the new logo. Um, you could actually read it. It's not, like drowned out by the truck um <laughs> never mind i was gonna say something else but i forgot what it was now oh. number two at number two we have the american sniper bounty hunter from world final 17 and he raced it um after that point i really do like the camo on it it black and blue camo looks really nice in my opinion i like the chris kyle uh, on the side right there. Yeah, there you see my finger there. Also, it's the Chris Kyle Memorial, and unfortunately, they didn't make a die cast because they don't really, um, put that much promotions, like, of people on the truck or something. Um, which is a shame, and I don't see them ever making this truck in die cast form, either Hot Wheels or Spidmaster. And the number one best two extreme paint scheme is... The 2008 Q Torque Iron Outlaw that he only ran for um, a year. I really do like this truck. This was the first Iron Outlaw I ever knew before the red and black one. And I just really like the black on black type driven by Craig Christensen. And I do like the gold horses on it. And overall, I just think it's a really bad to the bone paint scheme. No pun intended. But I just really do like it. I really wish that he would bring it back. But since it's a sponsored truck, um, it might not come back. Similar to um, Checker Schnucks Cragger or whatever you call that. Before I end this video, I just wanted to quickly mention that. Did you know that Rosalie Raymer drove Iron Outlaw once? Holy crap. I am just starting to realize that this has been a pretty short top 10. But now I ask you, which of the big three is your favorite? Bounty Hunter, Scarlet Bandit, Iron Outlaw, or is it one of the other ones? Knucklehead, Red Baron, Jekyll and Hyde, or or um, it, I feel like he has another one, but I don't, I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, leave a comment down below which is your favorite, and I'll respond to you as many as you can. Have a good day, and I will see you guys later.